what's going on here is the joy belt try to be steady but I know it probably won't joy belt 21 inch cutting deck it's 140 cc 550x motor I'm proud about that I worked very hard for this and I got it a lot of hours plastic all right here this is not there's no self-propelled there's no belts it's just a motor and it works because i'm having problems with the riding lawnmower i cannot use this riding motor the motor's fine but the belt something's messed up into it. it's 42 inch belt and i cannot figure it out so i can't use this so i have to use a push lawnmower but she's a really nice one you know so pretty cool air filter no prime no joke I'm trying there you go yeah so she's cool she starts right up too I said no self propelled no plastic gears the only thing that's plastic is these and I don't move it I keep on the lowest setting because I like to mow like the lowest so I don't have to keep going back over it and over it like every couple days, you know what I mean? Makes it easy. Kind of. You still gotta push it. Now if you got like car tires and stuff that makes like in the ground where the tire sinks into the ground, it gets like caught because the way this plastic is. See how they like dig into the ground? Like, I don't know how to explain it, but you just stop automatically. That's the only thing about this. Another thing, took the plastic thing off of it because it was giving me a lot of trouble. You can, it comes with a bag too. I forgot to tell you, you can hook her up right there, but there's a plastic thing that went right here and it connects to here. And there's one right where my finger is, right there. I can show it's just made out of plastic, but man, this thing, cause like you can move, you can mow, I'm getting ahead of myself. You can mow forward, but when you mow backwards, it binds up and it makes it like you're pulling like, I don't know, two, three center blocks. When you're pulling back and then you go forward. So I ripped the thing off. It's got a thing where you can you take, it, take it off. She's a good one. The only bad thing about this, now look at this. For like the bag and all that, you can take this off. See, I just made out of plastic right here. The only bad thing about this is, this shuts, right? So it's just plastic and it's just holding on to this right here. It just, it slides, can you see it? It slides right there. I can't get it. And film too, I'm sorry. Something like that. Alright, that's on there. But if you were to hit like a bush, you see that right there? I would just pull them. It pops right off. So if you're like mowing like bushes and stuff, I don't know what to tell you. I was thinking about putting a couple screws into it to hold it. That ain't gonna work. Anyways, she's a good one. Plastic, but she's good. Keep oil into it. They, how they talk about it, they gonna burn a lot of oil. Four strokes, so it should be alright. But she's a good one. She's a good one too, but the belt. I can mow on four, and I can mow on five. Right here. Check this out. I can mow on four, mow on five. But just as soon as I hit three, two, and one, it's like the belt. I got a 42 inch belt, I replaced it. Everything's hooked up right. Even got, you know the, um, where's it at? The engagement cable that goes to this right here. I'm completely top, off topic right now, but the cable that goes from this goes down here. I replaced this whole cable thinking that was the problem. The only way this belt gets tensioned is this right here. I know it's shaking and stuff, but see it pulls 
that spring and it pulls that lever right there which in turn sorry you see it it puts tension on the bell and it's supposed to work but it's like man i got like look at the slack i got in this belt and this is a 42 inch bell it's the i'll even show because i know like some people are like you might have got the wrong belt the belt the deck belt right there sorry i know the camera i'm not even paying attention to the camera four five nine five four i'm dyslexic i do it backwards i'm sorry oh four oh six oh b that's what this belt is and i got that much slack into it now watch sorry all right see how much slack i got i could i could just all right, I'm gonna engage it. That is fully engaged, right? Now watch. Look how much. I'm in three. Right, I put it in one. It's in one, and the deck, the deck is fully engaged. I do things backwards sometimes, so I'm sorry. I can't. Okay. Do you see this? Now watch, you remember how loose the belt was? I still have that much slack and that will not grab. It's like a full, I don't know, inch. It just will not engage that belt. And I can't go lower as far as like belt size because you can't go to a 38 inch deck this is a 42 inch deck which is completely off this is like a 96 inch belt i think don't quote me on that but i don't know off topic i'm sorry but that's what i'm having a problem with so that's why i can't use this lawnmower so i went and bought this lawnmower to use until I can figure out what's wrong with this one and I put so much money in this and that I could have just took this to the repair shop small engine repair shop got this fixed instead of buying that when you figure that out let me know because I still ain't figured it out okay so overall awesome push lumber works no belts just works you pull starts you mow chainsaw it's all right starts cold is like terrible but when it warms up it runs good good uh chain good bar onto it everything works so yeah cool cool thanks for watching if you can figure out anything that i said because i still i don't even know what i was saying <laughs> See you later. This here is the 14 inch Poland Pro. There's the number there. 14 inch blue. Oregon uh, chain on here. Let's see if I can get you. There we go. So, it's alright. The chain in the bar itself, I was looking on uh, Amazon, $42. I bought this chainsaw for 108 at Lowe's. I went super blurry. Bought it for 108 at Lowe's. So what is that? What maybe 60? Not even 60. Like 58 dollars just for the motor, and 40 for the bar and the chain. 42. Anyways, that doesn't matter. But it's just strange. But it's a cheap saw. 33 cc Stop you choke Very cool with the spring helps reduce uh, fatigue and vibration I guess brake Works good If anyone who hasn't used a chainsaw if you're holding it and like say your hand slips or something instead of going and hitting the chain you hit 
that and it stops the chain from moving it's a brake it stops the clutch so overall pretty good saw um she's a little cold natured she don't really want to start but once you get it like hot and you're using it she starts up but that uh cold start it's a it's a rough one but i'm gonna get you a shot try to run it and yeah All right, the brake is on. You should never do this. The chain's right there. My knee's right here. Never do that. But the brake is on. I don't think she was going to start up. It won't even start up cold anyway. But for some reason, if it did start up, brake's on. Anyways, here is the chain oil. Husqvarna. You can use whatever. It's good stuff. I use Husqvarna with the uh, mix in the two cycle. All right, duh. One gallon, pour like a little one, but I don't know the scale, I can't, it's a small one. Uh, yeah, gas goes there, and pretty simple, so. And there we go. What's up, everybody? What's going on? John Deere 10. 100 bucks. Painted it. Still got, there's a couple holes into it, you know. I was saying about getting a piece of uh, flat metal. I think it's uh, 24 by 4 foot long. 4 foot, 2 foot. And just laying it right there. Because I'm not going to get that welded. I can just buy a sheet real thin and just put it over it. Put a couple uh, rivets into it. Be done. That would be cool. Got a little bit of uh, rust right here. In the back. But it's still alright. Tires are over inflated. Wouldn't have it any other way. To dry rot it. About to fall apart. Now we got a custom paint job right here. Check that out. Oh man, that's awesome. Look at there. Picasso couldn't paint no better than that. Dag on right. Got this. This is a spacer. And you put the lawnmower. Goes right there. This goes through. Pin. You know, there's nothing in that. And that's a good one. That's a good one. So there she is. My whole equipment. I just need a power washer and a gas uh, string trimmer, weed eater, whatever you want to call it. I got an electric one. Check out that video. But this is a good one.